so my other question is um can you tell me more about like um the new uh la sat flex yes yeah, so the lsat flex i've got a whole playlist on youtube running through this so mm -hmm. i'm not going to cover all the details with you now I'll, I'll refer you there actually i put down put together the playlist at bit.ly slash lsat flex where i have dozens of videos on this but the short version is three sections not five at home and online one games one reasoning one reading comp section back to back and you're done in two hours and do you think that this would benefit a lot of people um is it do you, would you consider it being easier than the regular traditional sat i think it's a more pleasant test taking experience because it's shorter and assuming you've got a suitable home environment with good internet and your five-year-old's not running around then it could be okay it could be better for a lot of people but if you don't have good internet or if there's distractions at home or obligations at home then it might not be as good mm -hmm. the other thing is that since it's three sections and there's only one section of logical reasoning and lsac has actually confirmed that logical reasoning is weighted the same as all other sections so before it was half the exam now it's one third so if you're better at games and reading comp, LSAT Flex is a better option for you than the regular in-person LSAT. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.